Marek now! We rang for these! We're Sarah and Marek, and we've been traveling on a tight budget since October 2020. Budget travel has its highs and lows, but we're so happy to be exploring the world, experiencing delicious foods, different and interesting cultures, and seeing some incredibly beautiful places. Subscribe and join our adventures. It is our first day in Istanbul. Whoa, that bird flew <laughs> super close. It is our first day in Istanbul and we are so excited to be here. I can't believe we're in Turkey. This is a dream destination for both of us. We've got a couple of things that we want to get done today. So let's get to our first place. Wow, that was a cool experience. Let's give this ice cream and see. Marek. Oh my goodness. This is a Turkish experience that I've seen on many YouTube videos, on TV. I never thought I would actually be in a position to be in Turkey having this ice cream experience myself. It's really cool. One of those like childhood dreams come true. Very awesome. And the ice cream is amazing. That experience was honestly incredible. Those are one of those bucket list items that I never thought I'd actually be able to do. He sometimes moves so fast that you can't even capture all of his movements on screen. It's just, it is crazy how fast it can move. But all of the things we want to do are on the other side of Istanbul. So public transport, here we come. struggling trying to get a it's called an Istanbul card for about 20 minutes now you're supposed to have one of those to be able to use the public transport here in Istanbul but it wouldn't take a 50 lira card. note, note, note. note. so we had to come and get some change so we got a little bottle of water and a pretzel joke it's not a pretzel I'm not too sure what this thing is <laughs> Two days of struggling to get this thing. Don't we need more than one? Okay. Oh. Should work this time. <laughs> Should work this time. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Arhan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Good day, good day. Goodbye. Yes. 
we are on our way finally that took about an hour to do <laughs> to have a little bit of a change of outfits. I've got something for my head. I've got... Look at you! Wearing a skirt to match your sandals. <laughs> You're not allowed to wear shoes inside. I'm obviously wearing a headscarf. Oops, <laughs> not so much anymore. And Marek's wearing a skirt. <laughs> so let's go take a look inside. So unfortunately, there's a lot of construction going on in here. So there are these massive gray pillars it's not obviously not as it, at its former glory but perhaps it'll be a whole lot more beautiful once they've finished with the construction so fun fact Blue Mask is actually called the Blue Mask because of the 20,000 blue tiles that are on the interior of the mask itself. But unfortunately, we can't actually see it now because of the construction. Now we're walking just a couple hundred meters away and there is the Hagia Sophia. This is the Hagia Sophia. Now for a time in history, this was actually the largest cathedral in the world. And over time, it's been destroyed and rebuilt. And initially it was a church, and then it was converted into a mosque, and then a museum. And I think they say it's been converted to a mosque again, but I guess we'll find out now. Oh, <laughs> I think we just got our answer. <laughs> not to go in because he would have had to pay for another skirt at the blue mosque we didn't have to pay for anything but at this one they wanted us to pay so he decided not to come in and i've somehow found myself separated from him which feels really unusual and there are so many obstacles to finding him again so i hope he's there where i left him <laughs> yay reunited <laughs> so our next stop was supposed to be the grand bazaar now a friendly local came up to us and he's like, are you looking for the Grand Bazaar? And we said, yeah. And he's like, okay, just follow me, I'll take you all the way there. And we followed him into a market looking place. He, sh he led us into a shop. Now in the shop we fell prey and we ended up buying some Turkish delight and some tea. But no regrets about that because it is delicious. But anyway, as soon as we walked out of the shop, we typed into our GPS and we saw that the Grand Bazaar was actually 1.2 kilometers away from where we were. And our local was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> and our guard had disappeared. <laughs> but anyway, we are on the way to the Grand Bazaar now. <laughs> so 
So we just looked on Google and apparently the Green Bazaar market closes at 6 o'clock and it is exactly 8 minutes past 6 now. But we're still going to go and try anyway. I really hope it's open. <laughs> about five minutes and we're already feeling so lost there's so many corridors so many ways to go and you're pulled in every direction by every shop owner that wants you to come into their shop and look at their things <laughs> the Grand Bazaar market is actually one of the largest markets in the whole of Europe it has approximately 4,000 shops and spans over 60 corridors and three James Bond movies were actually filmed in this vicinity to um, avoid <laughs> and somehow managed to come away without buying anything but that is also a challenge <laughs> that was an experience <laughs> wow I feel a little bit tired and I think that's because we don't had no intention of buying anything like I was saying that was quite an experience and honestly we're feeling pretty tired now because it's kind of like a competition where we were there not wanting to buy anything we just wanted to have a look but rightly so every shop owner is there trying their hardest to get you to buy something to get you to look at their stuff so if you're just there to walk around and sort of take in all the sights it can get a bit tiring after a while just having to constantly say no but overall really cool experience Okay, but we've got one last thing that we want to do today. today. It's a bit of a spur of the moment adventurous idea, so we're not too sure if we're going to be able to do it. But if we don't do it, we still manage to have a very good day. So to be completely honest, we have no idea what we're doing at the moment. We've just gone into a, a ferry and it's apparently taken us to Asia. How crazy is that? We're going to be crossing this major body of water right here. We don't even know how much it cost. As I said, this is just spur of the moment type thing right here. But we know it wasn't expensive. It's like normal public transport. It's a commuter, commuter ferry, so it won't be expensive. It's quite a little rush to get up there. Everybody's running up the stairs to try and get these seats. Running. It's crazy! <laughs> it's moving! For those of you who don't know, Istanbul is actually divided into the eastern... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Istanbul is actually divided into the Asia side and the Europe side. So we decided to hop on this ferry and travel across to the Asia side. We're in Asia. 
So the Asia side doesn't seem that different from the European side, except maybe that it's just a little bit more open and people just aren't so much on top of each other. But we are feeling rather tired and it has been quite a long day, but we've really, really enjoyed it. So that's what we're going to call it for today. Istanbul is hectic. <laughs> There's a lot of people, it's extremely busy, and it's just a little bit dirty. But it's been really cool to come and experience this different culture and this different region. We're so excited after this first taste of Turkey. We are actually spending a lot of time in Turkey now for the next couple of weeks. We're very excited to explore some more of the country and different regions in the country so subscribe and stay tuned for those adventures we really wanted to try more turkish food today but we held back because as you know we enjoy doing food tour videos so we're hopefully that'll be coming soon so subscribe so you don't miss out on our turkish food tour video let us know in the comments if istanbul or turkey is on your bucket list as a country to visit we think it's worth being a bucket list country and of course give this video a big thumbs up it really helps out our channel a lot and we'll see you guys back this coming tuesday